I just bought this adjustable uh, LED RMR, it stands for Ruggedized Miniature Reflex. It's a, a little red dot scope, um, got from eBay. He claims the make is uh, Trigicon, is it does? Yeah. Uh, made in the USA, apparently. <laughs> Comes shipped straight from China. So, less than 30 quid. First look at it, looks all right. Uh, so what we'll do, we're gonna have a proper review on this. We're gonna pull on a gun, try and sight it in. Uh, we'll give you our opinion. So if you're interested in that, less than 30 quid red dot sight, keep watching. So um, I did check out the, the, the original manufacturer of this site. Uh, they've got a really good website. You need you want to check it out. Um, this is a they make military guide stuff basically, and this is basically designed for Glock. Um, if if this was a, a genuine brand, that'd be over five hundred dollars. So I don't think it is. I know less than thirty quid. So let's uh, let's get it on the gun. Let's uh, sight it in. See what happens. So. First of all, I've got to pump up my uh, PP700W, that's a gun I normally use. Um, I've got an attachment I made that fits on there to take the weaver rail. Uh, so we'll just, um, you might as well just leave the camera rolling there as we'll show people how these pump up if no one's seen it before. Mm. I'm not going to pump it all the way up because um, that can be quite tricky. Twist the dust, dust the button. Tighten your release valve on the pump. And there we go, this is quite hard work. We've done videos on this before. Um, but I'm not going to pump it all the way up to max. Just enough to get this side, side in and check it out. I think a few more pumps. Leaking. Oh, it's coming out your fill probe end, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, I need to. Hmm? Has that stopped it? No. No. Maintenance needs. Yep. I think Seal we'll, kit. We'll finish this video another day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, mate. So we've got the gun fixed after that disaster. Uh, literally took two minutes. I was going to make a video about how to do it. So, um, quite simply, I unscrewed the end cap on here. Obviously, make sure the gun is empty of air. Took that out. There's an O ring on the bottom, so you've got to pull it a bit. Inside was a flat head screw. You undo that. Little tiny O ring. Change it. Bit of silicone grease back together. Put the other thing on with silicone grease. Done. Fixed. Pumped up. It's ready to rock and roll. So, when I first, um, so the. First of all, I'll just show you, it's got a nice rubber dust cover, which seems to stick on a bit better than the other side I had. Uh, so I'll take it off and just show you how it looked actually set up and mounted. So what, what I'd done, when I originally put it on the gun, I had this um, 3D almost set of dust. It's custom. I had this custom made, I've got a machine that makes things out of plastic. Uh, I made this picky rail, which seemed to work well on the other uh, side I had, but on this one it didn't. So I ordered some of these metal, adapter things um fit on cost me eight quid from ram's bottom i think yeah um and they're like sprung loaded so it's 11 mil to piggy and the, when you clamp up the sight on it that literally holds it all tight doesn't move so i got that set up i had to readjust it a bit um because i tried it out first on the hw40 and that worked a treat um so now um setting it up well let me just um yeah, so those little mount things are called gun tough. Uh, no. 11 mil to waver. Uh, eight quid, bargain. Uh, so it's all ready to go. Looks good, feels good. I've tried it out, first opinions. Yeah, okay. If you put it on a Springer, when I was getting, you know, the recoil uh, shock through it, I don't know, but I only want it for this. That's a PCP, no, no kickback or nothing. 
Hopefully it's going to last long. Uh, right, so first of all, I've um, got this less than, less than 30 quid off eBay. I think it was about 26. Little tip on that, if you put it in your basket or in your watch list on eBay within a couple of days, they'll email you. Often another 152 quid off. So that's what I've done. So I got it for like 26 quid. Um, there it is. And I must say, this box is lovely. Come in this little box. It's got a catch on the front. It's actually hinged in just a bit of plastic up end. So uh, I will probably end up using that as an Allen key box um, for my guns and stuff. Because I doubt I'm going to put my side bag in it. Why would I? Why would I take it off my gun and put it back in there? Lovely little box. All um, sponge lined. A bit over the top, really, for 26 quid red dot. I mean, I must say, so I'll take off this bit inside, and under here you get a, you get your cleaning cloth. You get a little pack of Allen keys, which were in a packet, so everything you need. This is nice. That's the adjusting key for the um, windage and elevation. Uh, works a treat. You can feel it click. It's not like a top quality click, but that clicks when you turn it, and that's really easy to use and adjust. This is uh, usually unheard of, a spare battery. It's already got one in it, spare battery. So uh, as a CRTL 32 uh, And there's this weird little plate, which is meant to go on a Glock, because this is pretty much a Chinese copy of a military Glock fitting. Uh, An MMR, MRM, uh, yeah, yeah, RMR. Rugged, uh, ruggedized miniature red, red, red dot, yeah. Um, Redical? Over 500 bucks from the genuine brand which i doubt this is i mean yeah, yeah. i doubt the tragic <laughs> kind of come all the way stuff. from china 26 <laughs> quid that could be the real thing that costs 600 bucks so um what we're gonna do um i have already more or less side in that's not perfect um so what i will i'll just get a little bit closer to that so um that's how it looks on the gun on on this side there's a plus sign on that side there's a negative so i think that's got six levels of intensity I usually have it on number one, don't have a problem. And to turn it off, you press the, the negative down one. I do, I haven't tested it obviously, but I do think after a certain amount of time that does automatically turn off. I do believe, I don't know, I haven't tested it. Uh, to be safe, I would rather just um, turn it off every time. So actually, I might put it on two clicks. Uh, the dot, I mean, for me, because I wear glasses, um, sometimes that sort of change a bit, but that's quite small. Um, I supposed to be off one M away, is it? Is that what they call them? The size of the dots? That's normally one to three that you'll yeah. get. So, um, good Do you vision want me for to me. show it down the camera? If you can, can you? Uh, can you hear? Yeah. yeah. I was just putting on some brown. Yeah, nice. So you can see it. Yeah, that's good. But because sometimes yeah. the dots are like dirty, what I'd call dirty, where they've got rough edges. Like Yeah, but that's normally because your eyes are too far away from well, that's, it. Well, a lot of it is my eyes, but sometimes... I find with I've my got... red dot on mine, the, the Hawk Vantage or whatever it is, um, the closer you get your eye to the actual sight, the crisper the dot gets, or the yeah, smaller this, it gets. Yeah, this dot, dot is looking really crisp. I'm not good glasses about them, I don't know. But that, that looked pretty crisp through the yeah, camera at arm crisp. length. So. so, that was my only worry, because I've got a 10 quid red dot I bought, and I, we've we done a review on that for 10 quid. Oh, that, that was, was fine, but the dot yeah. on that was like... Yeah, so that, that was a raspberry, wasn't it? That was like you've been finger painting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Done the job, you could hit a tin can with it, but, um, you know, with this, I've been hitting... Uh, the reset targets getting them to reset so um this pull about five and a half foot pound um before we end this video well i'll do it before we start actually so what we'll do these are rws pellets they're quite they're quite pricey the super field dome um i thought they were quite a bit cheaper than yeah i don't know mate what well, mine because uh, um, i normally shoot h and yeah about 60 quid uh, 16 quid rather, <laughs> 60 from, quid uh, 15.9 gram so um can we spin that down to to the ground so I can just show that people like to see the old uh let me just see the other one. Oh they got it? Try and yeah, don't move the Ready? Yeah. Just four point nine five. So um just under five foot pound. Um I don't know if my gun has leaked out today. I did only pump up early on, but I have had a few shots and all that. So, um, but I found the power go up when I get down a bit. Um, as you said, there, self regulating valve. Um, so, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put the other camera on for the range. We'll have that in the corner. I'll, I'll shoot at some stuff to show you that I'm hitting it. And um, yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. So, I'm just going to go for the, uh, the can hanging on the uh, fishing rod. I think that went straight through because that moved. Um, 
this, this pistol is in. Yeah, the right bottom left. From where I am. So I'm going to go for the, the can on the far right on the bottom, hanging off the shelf. Yep. Um, I'm going to try the rack knockdown, which you can just see in the front of the camera, in the front there. I'm not resting on anything, so this is could be tricky. Nope. Notice you changed the old uh, silencer. Yes, because uh, I shot this with my granddaughter. She said that was really loud. I was like, loud? She said, yeah, it's a high pitched noise. So um, let me just decock this so it's safe, Dad. I'll just lay that down for a second. Um, and Daz, as you get older, the high frequencies don't register so yeah. So to me, that just sounded a bit of a pshht. That sounds like a slight whistle to me. My daughter said that really whistled. So that is pointed out that on the end of these silences as we normally use, um, they've got these little vent holes, which is what's causing the whistling. Um, these are excellent silences, and Daz thought maybe if you block them up, because this is made for 2.2 LR um, with an air gun, that'd probably be okay to block them up, I don't know. Uh, so I started using... Um, the older version, wasn't it? It's old silence, that's basically just got an aluminium um, baffle inside there. Quite, um, I think that's louder, but yeah. there's no high pitched whistle. Um, no, that's so baffled. The other one is a, a core, yeah. like a steel core with like a Kevlar rope wrapped around it, yeah. so it can take high temperatures. Yeah, so um, it's still fairly quiet, like I say. Um, the other side, and so I mean, let's, jump, let's just show you. I should have just done a quick pull on that. I'll, I'll replay what I've done there and. Um, Sort of stick them together and get decibel reading. Yeah, the I'm just uh, there, doing, making sure that's off camera just yeah. in case YouTube's watching. That's what I'll do, I'll just put a shot from this. Hopefully, that wouldn't affect the atmosphere. Nothing. But hopefully, the camera or the, the audio picks yeah. up the yeah, little yeah, whistle. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I'm just going to try for the right target again. Uh, and with these red dots, that's also quite easy to shoot with if I was open. Oh, I think I hit it. Did no, I? Well, you hit it. I did. There I don't know. I can't see from it. I wasn't listening to the gun, man. I was concentrating yeah. on shooting that thing. I'll see if I can do hit the reset on it and hear the hear the sound. Try pushing it, uh, shoot in the dirt, so so we can hear the whistle. Because you're hearing the yeah. contact. Right, here we go. Yeah, that slight. If you stand aside that, I'll shoot it towards the camera with the mic, stand just for safety reasons, I know there's nothing in it. So to me, I didn't really hear much of the hiss there, but yeah, when you hear from yeah. that end. But it's, um, is it much louder than the other one? Quieter than the other one, do you think? Don't know, that's weird. This is supposed to be a silence of test video. Oh no, but... The show on the red site is working very good. Yeah. Um, oh, I like it. I'm going to leave it on this gun, that'll be the... Gun, basically. I might have to purchase some for other guns I own. Well, 26 quid, mate. Um, on a Springer, maybe. I don't know whether that would hold up. Um, if you're going to buy one, Daz, maybe we'll find out. I'm thinking more 1077. Yes. Yeah, I hit what I aimed for. So, did you want to pop it all, Daz? Have a quick go? Yeah, why not? Go on, mate, try it out. I'll play it there, it's all safe. I will double check the other cameras on them. Yeah, good for some of them targets on the Polar Story, guys. I ain't really sure. The old shoot fish targets? Yeah, I ain't really shot any of them yet. Um, yeah, I see how you mean they just drop in there. Right? Cool, don't they? How is it shooting? How are you set it up? Spot on, mate. To my eyes. Did you hit what you went for? I have no idea. <laughs> I heard it. Because I hit polystyrene, I'm going to hit a uh, can. Yeah. I'll tell you what, mate, I'll be your target spotter. I hit the uh, yeah. right hand side one. I'll be your spotter, mate. I, I hit the far right one. Ah, oh, so that's all right. Right, you want to shoot yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. 
had it, I'm used to mine, I had it too close to my face and clipped the sunglasses <laughs> with a hammer. <laughs> Roy Antoine. But I was aiming to the left side of it. Let me have a go with you being the spot. Let me just take care. I'll have a go and be in the spot. I've got a little um, monopoly for me, but I hate the glasses again. No. Well, that's a lot quieter for me, is not it? Did that, well, I went for the can, not the polystyrene. Oh, no, that's yeah. that's crying quite a noise, isn't it? I have no idea if that was on camera at all. Am I standing in the right place, guys? I don't know. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Or just you are now. Yeah. I don't know if I was though. You were because I checked it. Have you got being a spotter? God, I chipped the glass. Have you? Um, put his chance time in. I'll go for the middle one, yeah? I'm going for the middle one. Alright. Okay. Well, pretty down the middle then. Yeah. That's a bit hard to say. We need to get some splatter targets on there. Yeah. If you want to do like hacks, but it's just the hours around the shoot and you need a press. Well, I'm going to shoot a CO2 coach. Right. Mate, if you can hit them how wide they are, they're good enough. And I must say, this literally, three minutes, just a few clicks here and there. Um, I must say, that's the easiest sorry I've set up. So, there we have it. Um, Chinese fake brand red dot site. Fit, working, set up. That's on there rugged. You will have to, if you ain't got a weaver rail, you'd have to get a um, 20 mil in it, then weaver rail, 20 mil, yeah. 11 mil dovetail. I can highly recommend random spotting where I've got these. You can get them a couple of good cheap off. I bet you can highly recommend random spotting. Random spotting, jazz, random spotting, someone. Anyway, yeah. I bought stuff from them before and they're pretty good. I think I got the crony from them. Uh, so there we have it. I'm happy with it. I think that look good. That feel good. I like the sideways. I mean, they had these other ones with a switch on the end there, which is what I had before when that went wrong straight away. Not straight away, but like, I don't know, messed up. As you can see, them adjusting the um, screws on there. They're really cool. Um, the key fitting them nice. Um, all this out and key, my lucky. Anyway, there we have it. I hope you find it interesting. Highly recommend it. Less than 30 quid. Thanks for watching.